Hello to all you beautiful Pisceans out there. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this 2021-2022 year-end review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this message, this reading, this video finds you well, yeah? So keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And obviously, sun, moon, and rising signs are going to be the most uh, resonant for you with your rising sign at the top of that list. But... Keep in mind that with this series, these readings that I've done for the collective here for this situation, this can be watched. It is intended for you to be able to watch this reading from any placement, okay? So whatever planet you have in Pisces or whatnot, whatever, I encourage you to watch and see how that corroborates with you. But of course, like I said, sun, moon, and rising signs are going to be your most accurate readings with the rising sign at the top of that list for you. Yes? All right, Pisces, so we're going to get into this. We're going to wrap this up. I have two decks here. I'm going to use one deck to look at the year of 2021 for you, get some end of the year wrapping up messages in terms of that. And then we're going to use another deck to look at the year of 2022 and what those energies are potentially looking like for you, get you some guidance to start you off the year on a, on a good foot, yeah? And then we're going to close out the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Earth Warriors Oracle. Yes, Pisces? Excellent. Let's get into this. How many shuffles, please? Spirit? Three. I'm going to give this three shuffles for you. We're going to look at the year 2021. What was 2021 like for you? Yeah, this is one. This is two. For my Pisceans. What was the year of 2021 like for Pisces? What closing, wrapping up messages can we get for Pisces for the year of 2021? This is three. All right, what's going on? What, what's the deal? What was Pisces this year like? 2021 for Pisces. First card out is the Two of Wands. So you found yourself at a crossroads this year, just like everybody else. But there is a lot of emotional value in terms of this. Yes, okay, see what I'm, I'm looking at the Two of Wands here. And I'm feeling like you were at a crossroads. And there was a really strong decision, a hard decision that you had to make. Um, and this may have been something that, you know, came up over the course of 2021. It could have been a byproduct of all of the debauchery, all the destruction that went down on 2021. For some of you, though, it could have been something that was much, that was longer standing than that. Like this could have been something that has been developing over the course of a number of years. For some of you, I'm getting like this has been five years in the making or something like that. This could be a relationship maybe that you finally ended or something like that. But with this two of wands here, there was a choice you had to make this year. And I'm feeling a lot of emotion wrapped up in that. Now, okay, you're a Pisces. All right, fine. Pisces is a pretty emotionally charged sign. It's a water sign. Okay, uh, like uh, whatever. But I don't want to trivialize what this is for you because even though, yes, you're fairly emotional or strongly emotional anyway, there was still... There was, it, there was still some sort of really tough emotional reality that you had to overcome here. And it was your emotions surrounding the situation that caused you to maybe not end it or to drag your feet or to delay this ending for a while. Okay? The world in reverse. All right? What else do we have for Pisces for the year of 2021, please, Spirit? What was going on for Pisces during this time? It's almost as if you don't want to talk about it, Pisces, or like you didn't want to talk about it, or you still don't want to talk about it. All right. Overall energy is temperance. Whoa. I feel like this has strong relationship energies going on there. This could be a romantic situation. Um, it also could be a dynamic between parent and child. What I'm getting, because what I have here is the nine of pentacles in reverse amongst other things, which I'm going to get to, but the nine of pentacles is in reverse here. And what I'm feeling from that is like you, you almost didn't want to be independent. There was, there was some sort of fear surrounding stepping out on your own somehow. Again, this could have been in, a, in terms of a relationship romantically, all right? Like say you've been with a long-standing partner for a while or maybe you were married or something like that. 
Um, or it could just be some sort of family dynamic or something like that. Again, I'm feeling for some of you, there's a level of parent and child dynamic here, but the person that this is resonating for would mostly be the child, whether you're an adult or not. But there was, there was some sort of codependency here. I'm also hearing a lack of mentality because what I'm feeling with this is this, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you have the Four of Swords in reverse, you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. There was a level of not wanting to be independent, not wanting to step out on your own, or maybe feeling like you couldn't. And that, that could be where the Eight of Swords is coming into play. There may have been some sort of conditioning um, that you experienced or that you accepted over the course of your life that was saying, I am not capable of doing this, I don't even wanna try. But that was illusionary. With the Four of Swords in reverse, that's telling me that you weren't really able to see this clearly. You weren't really able to think clearly about this. And regardless as to how you were feeling about it, there was a level of needing to start over. Needing, I'm hearing needing to start a new path, needing to start your own path, Page of Pentacles. And again, this may not have been pleasant for you, but the overall energy here is temperance which is saying to me that this was necessary. In order for a level of balance and harmony to, and union, I guess, union with yourself to be brought into your life. Sorry. <laughs> um, in order for, I'm hearing, in order for there to be a level playing field, there was a need for you to strike out on your own or to claim some sort of independence here. Like I'm literally feeling like you had no other choice. The universe was kind of forcing you into this level of being independent, self-sufficiency, sovereignty. Now I am, I am like, yes, I'm hearing and feeling like they, it's kind of you were being forced, maybe even feeling like you were being coerced into it and it was necessary. But it wasn't necessary from the point of view of what you might think. Oh, the universe is just trying to, to manipulate me or to like, cause me to suffer this that and the third no it was necessary Pisces for your own evolutionary development as a soul as a being as an incarnated soul in this human experience it is in fact necessary or it was or it has been necessary hi Jinx what's up Jinxie um necessary experiences is what I'm hearing okay all right, let's move forward and dive into 2022 then. Oh, my coffee is cold now. <laughs> All right, five shuffles here. So what has the year of 2020, oh no, I'm sorry. What will, is the year of, what is the year of 2022 looking like for you, Pisces? Yeah, five shuffles. This is one. This is two. What's 2022 looking like for Pisces? This is three. This is four. And five. All right. So 2022, what's 2022 looking like for Pisces ah, or my Pisceans? What's 2022 looking like for you, Pisces? Happiness and satisfaction. First card out is the Nine of Cups. But I am hearing deep satisfaction, which is interesting. Um, because the Nine of Cups often really usually speaks to happiness and satisfaction and contentment on a mundane level. But what I'm getting for you here, Pisces, is that the Nine of Cups does represent deep satisfaction, but it means, it, it represents it in terms of you settling into the core of yourself and you really grounding into your life, into your physical body, into your physical experience, that which truly makes you happy. And also, I'm definitely feeling like this level of independence that you needed to take on over the course of 2021 is going to pay off in the year of 2022 in certain ways in you realizing that you because you have asserted this level of independence because you have 
taken on this responsibility to stand on your own, you're finding that you get more pleasure, more satisfaction, more validation in some of the things that you do, in the endeavors that you embark on. And that's coming from a realization that, wow, I really can do this myself. And wow, this when I when I really took the, the bull by the reins and I made this happen for myself, I did it on my own, it's way more satisfying than have somebody do it for me. And I'm not trying to speak ill to anybody in terms of this, okay? It's almost, it's almost an energy of the universe saying, I told you so, but not really. The universe doesn't have to do that because they know whatever they're leading us towards, it's ultimately what we want anyway, right? It's just our egos and our conditioning that kind of gets in the way. Now you have the Nine of Cups with the Hierophant here. And the Hierophant fell out on the year of 2021. So what I feel like here is the Hierophant represents the lessons that you've learned. Because the Hierophant is a great teacher. A teacher of the three-dimensional reality or the three-dimensional realm. And I'm just getting, I'm, I'm literally Pisces, I'm getting lesson learned for 2022 here. And settling into the new value in your life. Okay, well, here's the Five of Pentacles. Ah, but then Strength. Yeah. So, and the Two of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is overall energy here. Some of you actually may be finding a brand new relationship. If you had to release a romantic partnership over the course of 2021, you are being aligned with a great with with a partner that is like in which you two have greater potential together. But that's because you're coming together, you're aligning on a level of sovereignty that you didn't have in a, in that previous relationship. But in the year of 2022, you have a little bit more of that I told you so energy coming through, but it's not that it's more like, you see, you see what you're capable of when you really allow yourself to believe that you're capable of it. You have the five of pentacles, which represents that lack mentality that you were facing in the past with strength, holding your own, feeling and re recognizing the contrast between this energy and this energy. You've always had it within you. Okay. You were never really lacking in anything. But it's just that there were belief systems, whatnot, whatever, traumatic, traumatic experience from the past, is what, past what, whatnot, whatever, that may have led you to believe this about yourself, that you're not capable of this, that, and the third. But that's not the case at all. And you're finding the strength to say, no, I'm not lacking. I am capable. And then with that, you have the Two of Cups. So here is that energy of potentially meeting a new partner that is in greater alignment with you and who you truly are at this moment. But also the two of cups represents a bond, a union with yourself, your masculine and your feminine energy coming together and working together in a loving union. And that's also what this temperance energy is from the past, from last year, from the 2021, right? The year of 2021. All of this has been pushing you to and influencing you to get into a greater union with yourself which is ultimately, for those of you that seek it, going to lead you to greater union with a being external to you, another human being, right? Overall energy is the Queen of Cups to the Six of Pentacles to the Fool. See? Okay, look at this, Pisces. So in, in the year of 2021, you had a blockage in this ending, right? Because this came out reversed. But over the course of the year of 2022, I really feel like you're going to be cleaning up those discrepancies and this ending will, and this completion will complete itself, right? And then from there, you're able to take a new leap of faith. There's the fool right there. But this is also with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, Pisces. This is giving to yourself on an emotional level. Giving yourself the love, the, the care, the support, the unconditional love, the nurturance that you actually need. That you may not have been getting from anybody else. That you may not have actually, actually other people may have been purposefully not giving to you because they wanted to keep you in a codependent state potentially for some of you that is the case okay for some i mean if you were aligned with individuals whether this is family or a, a romantic partner that resonated on that codependent level with you 
then naturally there are some of them that are going to try and keep you in that space so you don't leave them. This is also a misery loves company type of energy. Five of pentacles, right? That's really beautiful, Pisces. I'm very, I'm very happy for you. Very proud. This is great. Okay. That's what I've got. So let's close this out, yeah? Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Pisces. Five shuffles here. Wait. Three is more appropriate. Okay. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, guys. Closing Oracle Guidance for Pisces to close out this reading, please, Spirit. Two of them. All right, Pisces. You have two cards here. Card number 14, Clan of the Wolf Heart. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And then card number 35, Mama Kila, or Kia, Mandala of the Moon. All right, let's start with 14 then. And actually, this is the one that I really feel like is the most relevant, but I am going to read a bit from both. You belong to the clan of the Wolf Heart. This is a soul tribe with boundaries beyond bloodlines. There's something in my hair some bug, sorry. Uh, there, this is a soul tribe with boundaries beyond bloodlines and geography. It is based on soul connection to, lo to love's wisdom and higher truths of great spirit. The clan is united through wolf medicine and the heart. These are the qualities of the divine feminine that unify, allowing for a uh, palpable experience of oneness that brings power to our collective wisdom and purpose. In a reading, this card says, Reach out for help from others whilst you honor and respect your individuality and your own unique life journey. Balanced social time with taking care of your own individual needs, including the need for time out in solitude to hear your inner truths and renew yourself. Anger can be a sign from the soul, a sacred gift that asks you to deal with a situation, to bring about something different and more empowering. Use your anger as a sacred gift with compassion and clear purpose fight wholeheartedly when you need to safeguard what truly matters. Be open to a greater guiding wisdom so that you know when to be merciful and when to cut something off completely. Believe in the power of your inner voice and do not silence yourself. Sorry, it felt like something was stinging me. Okay, anyway, last card here. Ouch. Uh, card number 35, Mandala of the Moon. I'm just going to read a little bit of this one. All right. I, the Lunar Mother, bring you my Mandala of the Moon to manifest through the law of magnetic attraction. My Mandala is, is, is the secret portal through which your dreams, intentions, and visions shall pass into the wholeness of being from the realm of inter inspiration into the world of form on earth. There is no need for doubt or concern, for even the appearance of delay signifies that the divine feminine mystery is at work, with timing unfolding according to a higher loving wisdom. Trust that what is falling away is meant to be, whilst you have faith in new divine works being born. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like uh, this spread specifically for yourself, if you'd like me to do this reading for you specifically, uh, personally, definitely hit me up. My email can be found in the description box below. Just email me. Let me know that you would like this spread specifically, and I will get you all set up. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the 2021 and an even better 22 ahead. I am sending you all so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye.